Hello, this is Lorraine Lilly from Let's Start Design. I wanted to make a, an update to my previous video on how to add a blog to your website. Wix has come up with a new blog and I wanted to show you how to switch out the old blog into the new blog. So over 15,000 of you have watched the old blog video and we created a site for Ultimate Design and this is what our blog looks like. You have your, your title, uh, the date of, of the post with the author, a little information enticing you into the post, read more button. And then on the right here, we had featured posts, so we could highlight certain posts, and then it showed the most recent posts, and then you could search by tags. Um, and then there was a general comments box down the bottom that was not specific to a post. So one of the things that Wix have introduced is this new blog. I'm going to show you the blog on my current site so you can see. The layout of course is, is very different. It's much more, more of a kind of magazine layout if you like with a little snippet with the title, an image. The main thing that changed was that they added a subscriber feature. They can create a login and then they'll get updated every time uh, you create a new post and um, they can also sign in and then when they click on an article down the bottom here you'll see that they can comment and it will be commenting as the person who is signed in so it's really about increasing engagement is the main reason that they they changed it but you have up here you up to 10 categories like we i mentioned before that these are the broad umbrellas of the different subjects that you talk about in your blog then within that at the bottom of each post you can then hashtag at the bottom to give some more search function to your blog posts so if your blog posts are still in this kind of layout you may be thinking, how do I upgrade to the new blog? And they have made it very easy to do so. You'll add the new blog and then it will automatically, with your prompting, copy all your current blog posts into the new blog posts. And then it will copy the URLs for each blog post over so that if anybody types in the URL of your old blog post, it will redirect to the new uh, area of your site. So let's have a look and see how that works. So let's go back to the editor and you'll see this is our old blog here. This is the one that we've been using. And if you see now on the left side, you can get the new blog. So we just click that and we're going to add now, which takes a couple of minutes and it creates a new page. It gets started. You can see that it puts in this default three standard posts. So from these three posts that they've added, you're probably thinking, oh, Where's all my blog posts gone? So we need to bring in our uh, posts that we had here on the old blog. So you click settings and it says import your blog posts. So we're going to get started and we're going to copy the posts and it will start bringing those posts over. Now in this dummy site, Ultimate Design, I only have a couple. So that's uh, that made it easy. And then it says the next step is to update the URL links and to help with your SEO. So you continue. And we're going to update the URLs and bring it over. And then all you need to do then is publish your new blog and, and then your new blog will appear. The old blog will still stay there, but you can delete it. Once you've checked that your posts are there, you can then go in and delete uh, the old blog. And we should also go in and change the blog feed layout and customize the design. So let's have a look. So then I hit manage posts. It brought in my posts from the old blog. So here you, you can see, and then we can just go ahead and create our new ones. Um, here you'll see the author name. So rather than typing in the author name every time, you can just put in your name or the name of your company right here, and it will add it to each of the uh, posts. One thing we might want to look at is settings. And this is has kept some of the formatting of what we had on the old blog in terms of look. So if we click here under settings, it allows you to do different layouts. And here we have the side by side. Um, you can have tiled or take your image, the title, and some of the paragraph and continue to uh, lay them out down below. Um, editorial takes 
which is what I have on my current site, just the image and the title. Uh, Brick does it uh, offset against each other, but if you have a lot of posts, it kind of looks cool. Postcard is very small, so if we look at that under preview, it just gives a little uh, square with the title over the top. So just play around with each of these and see which layout you like. This one stacks each article, or you can have a full post which obviously takes up a lot of room. So if you have a lot of posts in either editorial or tiled or side by side, it's really your preference. Then they also do a category page. So let's go in and um, edit a post and I'll show you what they mean by category. So when you go in to edit your posts under post settings, you'll see here categories. I'm going to edit. So I'm going to call this one kitchen and you don't need to put the comma, you can just hit the check mark exterior design and you'll see that it has two so if i go back to my old posts which we have um, i don't need exterior design it's going to give it this new uh, kitchen design so hit save and publish and you can add as i said up to 10 categories which are the broad themes the umbrella themes that you have um, on your blog post and then rather than tags, which we had on the, the old blog, you will instead do hashtags at the bottom of your article. SEO. So the SEO search engine optimization, uh, you'll see that it brings in the URL and it's copied over the post URL that we had. You can then, it will automatically take the first paragraph and add it as the description that will be used on, on Google. But if you don't like this, you, you can copy another paragraph from your uh, post in here and paste it in, and that will become uh, the information that goes out on Google. Under general, uh, we have the date of your article, who the author was, which it puts in automatically. It pulls the information from where I showed you earlier. Um, you can change the cover image. So by default, whatever the first image is on your blog post, that will become the cover image. However, you may want an image from further down the post to become your cover image, and so you can go ahead and change it. A displaying cover image is whether you want that to appear on the post, and I generally say an image is great for conveying uh, your message, so I would definitely keep that there. Um, feature posts. So you may remember from the old blog on the right-hand side, we had feature this post it appeared on the right. Um, now we can do something slightly different. So let me show you what you can do with feature this post. So within my site, I may have, say on my homepage, I may want to display some of my blog posts and this way it will uh, attract people in to read my blog posts and perhaps sign up to become, uh, log in as a member so that they can always be notified when I write a new post. So when we go to our blog new here on the left, we can add blog elements. And blog elements, uh, we can create a custom feed, um, including recent posts or featured posts. We can add different blog elements. So say we add in this one, and we're just gonna move it down. With this one, we can, under settings, uh, tell it what we want to display. So it can either show all posts, and perhaps we only want to do the featured posts. So if you have three or four featured posts, we could put them um, in this layout. You can go through here and choose whether you want the name, the date, how long it takes to read the article, all these things you can either add or or not, depending on just your personal preference. If you didn't want just featured posts, you can also select a category. So if you had a page on your site um, dedicated to say kitchens, you could have just those articles that relate to that category on, on that page. So it gives a little more customization. Same thing in terms of layout, you can choose a different style of layout for each one, you can do more of a, a whole article. So again, if you had a kitchen page, you might want to have these specific uh, kitchen articles on that page with a little more content. And remember that all this content is searchable by Google. So that's why writing a, a blog is a really great idea. You can also set here whether you show all your posts 
or if you only want a couple to be displayed on the page, you can change the numbers here. So you can customize it that way too. One of the things that you'll see is once you've added the new blog, you'll still see up the top here that we now have two blogs. So it means that under the old blog, if you click there, um, manage your blog, you'll see that the, uh, the various posts are still there, but we will need to basically go into the, your menu pages. And this one here is your old blog. So you would just go ahead and hide the old blog or go ahead and delete the blog from, from the menu and um, you'll, then just the new one will show. So that's an important step. Now, one of the major differences um, between the new blog and the old blog is that with um, the old blog, when we uh, managed posts, you could then go and share this post by clicking here um, to your own Facebook, to your own Twitter, and to your own LinkedIn account. Now, of course, you can still go ahead and do that um, from the new layout. You can go in yourself and share the post to your Facebook, your Twitter, and you can copy the link and then use that to cross promote your blog post wherever you like. But you'll see that missing from that is the ability to share your post uh, via your email. So this with the old blog, when we clicked email it, you'll remember that it opened up the email marketing dashboard so that you can then directly email this out. Unfortunately for this new blog layout, it does not allow you to do that. So instead you'll need to go to your dashboard for your website, go to email marketing, and you can either um, choose one of their templates to use, or you can create your own. But if we select this one, we'll just walk through here. Um, you can go in and change this and put in your logo. I just upload the image file. Then you're gonna change the title of your blog post. You can change this information, perhaps put a few lines of your post, change up the image to the image that you have in your specific blog post. And then um, you can either just go here and here, I would link it to your article or further down, you'll see that there's this button here. And again, you can say, read the post or read my blog, just change the text. And here you're going to put the link. So where do you get the link? Since it's not created automatically as it was before, you need to just go to your website. And after you've published your site, if you click here where it says share post, you can then copy that link and then go back and then paste it right there. And then when you hit apply and then you send out your newsletter, when they click the button, it will go straight to your blog post. So that's the way around it. And there are a couple of reasons why they did this. Uh, one of the big reasons was that Google was no longer supporting the short link that was created automatically. So that's why you have to paste now. Um, they've also changed the Wix email so that it is more responsive in mobile. So they needed to change up the format of the email marketing system. And this is another reason why uh, it's not done automatically now. One of the new features though with the new blog is this login sign up here. So if people are interested in following your blog, they can sign up to become a subscriber. And when you click here and you hit settings, you'll notice that under settings, you can check this little slider here. And every time you publish a post, they'll be notified about your post by email. To encourage people to sign up to your blog, I would add a subscribe box to the bottom of your blog. So under add apps, if you go here, type in subscribe, Wix gets subscribers, add to site, and then just move it to the bottom of your, your blog page. That way it will prompt people to sign up. And as they sign up and give their email address, it'll be added to your subscriber database. When you do your post, they can be notified. So that just about wraps up uh, this update on how to add the new blog to your site if you have the old blog. I hope you found it useful. Please remember to subscribe for any new videos below. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to ask and I'll try and 
uh, respond to you in a timely fashion. You can also check out my own site, Let's Start Design. My blog posts here have lots of tips on Wix and social media ideas. And you can also sign up to my resources page. Thank you for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.